Today, we're going to be making a guppy that I like to use to swing through the current. To start, we'll grab some white thread, continue wrapping until you reach the bend of the hook, and grab a mallard flank. Pull free a few fibers and secure them to the back of the fly. Continue securing to the hook shank until you reach your bead. Snip the excess free and wrap your thread back down to the hook point. Next, we'll grab some crystal flash. Here I'm using UV Pearl, securing a single strand to the hook shank, folding it over and attaching it to the other side, and wrap back to the hook point. Next, we'll grab some peacock curl. Select about three strands, invert your hook, and secure it to the bottom of our fly. Continue securing until we reach our tail, wrapping back up to the bead, and securing some more crystal flash, once again wrapping back down towards the tail. With this complete, use your thread to build up a smooth body, finishing just before the bead. Next, we'll grab our crystal flash and begin to wrap this in close touching spirals until we reach our thread, at which point we'll secure and snipping the excess free. We'll then grab some egg yarn. Here I'm using a light pink. Select a small clump, folding it over your thread, wrapping it slightly back to the body of the fly. Fold over the egg yarn to create a small egg sac and secure it using your thread. Once secure, snip the excess furry. Fold over your peacock and secure it to the top of the fly, taking thread wraps both in front as well as behind and snipping the excess furry. Whip finish to hold everything in place. Snip your thread furry and grab some thin UV resin to paint over the fly. Once happy, secure with the UV light, adding some thick UV resin over the top of our fly to create a rounded shape. Take your time with this and only secure it once you're happy. We'll then grab some eyes. Add a little bit of UV resin to the side of the bead, carefully placing the eye and securing it once happy. Repeat this step to the other side and add some more UV resin to fill in the gap. I like to use this fly during high water. Swinging across the current like a wet fly can result in some aggressive strikes, but it also works well under an indicator. If you'd like to win this fly, comment hashtag fly tying in the comments below. Subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.